Necessary that this missing uh, a PT carriers will be produced in pairs or you know just you know uh, like well if they are produced in pair then it will still be a missing PT yeah it will be still a missing PT but that can be only chi or only neutrino depending on what signal you are no no neutrino also can be <coughs> multiple yes in the signal but there is a big difference because the neutrino is light is massless roughly. It is easy to reconstruct a particle mass, even though its decay product contains a neutrino. I will come to that. But if it is a dark matter particle, it is not so. If there is a mass there, you have to do a lot of work to uh, reconstruct the mass of the parent particle. But I will come to it later. Right now, we take into account that if we observe missing, now, as every standard model background, one can try to tackle by using cuts. So it is possible to devise cuts and reduce the neutrino background. Again, I will come to it later. The main reason is, you see, the neutrino being massless, its PT is expected to be roughly small than the missing, which happens when you have a massive particle. But nevertheless, one has to worry about it. Therefore, observing a missing ET event does not mean that you have a observation, an observation of a dark matter production event. But nevertheless, this is one of the interesting goals of the LHC and I will spend considerable amount of time, how to reconstruct this missing ET events from the observation. Okay. But this is one of the goals at the moment if you look into the priority list, maybe two years back or three years back it was something called super symmetry. Now the priority is slowly moving <coughs> towards the possibility of detecting the model independent way the production of a dark matter particle, whether this can be done. Now I will come back to it, but this is now one of the motivations that LHC is going to focus on for the next few years. So what is the threshold of missing ET or PT uh, uh, for LHC? Well, that, that again depends on, I mean, Typically during the run 1, the visibility cut was of the order of 100 GeV years. So any dark matter yes. below 100 GeV will not be able to? Carrying a visibility of 100 GeV will not be. Detected. Now also? Now also. No, no, no. Now, now it can be more. Because Only the energy has increased. 13 GeV. No, I am I'm, I'm interested in low mass dark matter. Then, you know, LST is not the right place to look for. No, why not? Now I am saying that you know you have a threshold in your detector that suppose there is a missing PET of 2 GeV, your detector no, no, no. has the error. No, you know. no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you are probably talking about is triggering. The event can be triggered by missing it. Exactly. Say but that is not the only trigger. So your missing ET has to be accompanied. First of all, if it is only missing it, you cannot detect anything. Right, I will right. come to all these points. Right. So it must have something accompanying. Right. And then the visible energy, visible transverse energy is opposite to the missing transverse energy. So in that sense, you conclude that there is a missing transverse energy. And you put a cut. But there must be something visible, otherwise you will never know that. 
So the dark matter particle must be produced with something. Like say Z decay in lab. You had some visible decay with, you had some invisible decay with which were due to the neutrinos, right? Uh, yes. Here, yes, same thing. Yes, you yes. have some visible particles. Yes. Rest of the things are going to something which is invisible. You know the total width. Right. In left, it goes exactly like this. Right. I told you that the total width is in the distribution. Right. Invariant mass peak is at the mass, but there is a distribution. And from the distribution, you measure the total width. You measure the visible width by the visible part. Subtract, you get a invisible width. Invisible width. That is an indirect measure. But here we are talking about the registering of missing transverse energy in the detector directly. Okay. Well, since you talked about late, but maybe I will come to it in the discussion session. Right now, let me just switch a little bit. So, basically, I have discussed so far about the possibility of signal and try to show that signal is always accompanied by a background. In the case of dark matter which is physically so interesting, there is always a background from the neutrinos and therefore one has to improve the significance of the signal divided by square root of background ratio by employing a certain pedagogical selection. But before that, I have to draw your attention to another point which we have been neglecting so far. I think uh, for the rest of today's lecture, I may not need the screen anymore. Everything will be done on the blackboard. Mm -hmm. So can I just raise just the... Two, three. So the 
withdrawal is a point like <coughs> particle is justified by this agreement <coughs> between theory and experiment. We take the electron as a point like particle undergoing local interaction and using the standard rules of quantum field theory compute the cross section and they agree with experiment. Fine. <coughs> electron is point like no one. Does not happen for the 